like this. Now, then I want to introduce a kind of do a line drawing to close the part up. Another line. Then so I'll use a slanted line in between the line. Now, this is one form of a pattern. Now, I want to reproduce this again. Now, when I reproduce this again, then I'm like by the time I'm reproducing this, like first time, the second time, third time, you have a pattern already. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you start painting them, then you start seeing something like a wall design or a kind of art. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready to do some kind of drawing this morning? Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to use this orientation to your orientation like this, this drawing this way. You're gonna do, we're gonna be having all the drawings. So our drawings is gonna, gonna fill the whole page. So I want to start drawing in this orientation in the form of a landscape shape. So start from the top and then build it down. Now don't make your pattern too complicated so that you can remember and reduce them over and over again. You might decide to use start with an arc shape or a circle or a square or a rectangle. Then we can just do that, maybe first line, do another shape, second line, another shape, third line, and then we produce the same pattern over and over until we fill the page of your sheet. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I'll be coming around to cut out some shapes from that so that you can bring through there. So let's start some good work this morning. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you.